Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Recently I have been out to a market with my family and I picked up so many more things than I thought I would so I thought that I would show them to you guys here because I know that I personally love a good haul. Quick little disclaimer like I always do with all of my hauls I am in no way trying to brag. Everything I got was for under $10. When I show you how much I got you guys are going to be like how on earth did you get all of that under $10? But that is why markets are a very, very good thing because they just help you to get rid of your loose change and you can get so much more for your money than if you were just going to go into town. Without further ado, let's jump into my haul. Okay, so I'm going to start off with food, which has obviously been long gone by now. But I bought a chocolate brownie and a can of 7up because fun fact about me, I cannot eat chocolate without having a drink afterwards and I didn't bring water, I didn't bring juice, I didn't bring any kind of drink so I forgot that once I ate brownie I'd need something to wash it down with because otherwise it's too sweet. So now I am going to move on to books. So the first book that I picked up was this one here. This is An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. And I have read this book before and, and it just follows this guy called Colin who is very very smart and basically all of his girlfriends have been by the name of Catherine. He goes on this road trip to try and test his theory on why he always goes after girls with the name of Catherine. So yeah, it's a really really good read. John Green is a really really amazing author. And the last book that I picked up was this one here. This one is called Post Grad by Emily Cassell. I have not read this before. Um, I have not seen the movie. Apparently there's a movie of this. I did not know that. I'm not going to read the back because otherwise this haul is going to be way way too long. So I might just leave the trailer for the movie in the description box below so that if you guys want to get sort of an idea of what this book is about then just watch the trailer. So now I'm just going to go for like a couple of random items. So the first random item I picked up was this teddy bear here and basically the vibe I got from him was saying cuddle me and do not leave me. So that is why I picked him up. He's just really really soft and yeah you can barely see his eyes. Kind of looks like he's getting tired and just wants a cuddle good night basically. But yeah I just thought he's too cute to leave behind. And okay and the next thing that I picked up was actually something that kindly got given to me. And that is this little Christmas decoration here. I was saying to the people that were running this stall that had like a whole lot of Christmas decorations in. That basically we had the smaller one. Which it's basically the same idea but the drum is smaller and it's blue and the bear is brown. So I thought this would be like the older brother or the older sister. Mum wouldn't buy the whole box of decorations. So the guy running this just picked this out and gave this to me. So thank you so much. Okay, and so the next category is clothes. And I picked up just a few clothes. So when I originally went to this area, it was fill a bag for $5. So that was the first bag that as the market sort of progressed and the longer it went on the more the prices started dropping so then it went to fill a bag for two dollars and then seeing as my family and I were still rummaging through like a whole heap of clothes when they had that it dropped again to fill a bag for a dollar these aren't in any particular order of, of what clothes I got for the five dollars and which ones I got for the one dollar because I've since then tried everything on everything is just mixed in with each other nothing at this market was new so these are second hand but as you guys know from my previous haul which I will link down below I love op shopping and yeah none of these clothes have been washed either so if there's any stains or whatever then I apologize and again they should come out with nappy sand in the washing machine I swear my family and I really really test the boundaries when it came to fill a bag because combined with my stuff, Shelby's stuff, Anya's stuff, and mum and dad's, we were pushing it. Okay, so if you do not have any food with you, then pause this video, grab some food, grab a drink, go to the bathroom, and then come back and press play because we're going to be here for a while. So get comfy. Okay, so now that you guys are back, let's go through bag one. <laughs> we're going to start off with the broad category of tops, and we're going to start off with long sleeves. Buying long sleeves when it's about to go into summer is a really smart idea. 
Everything was really cheap as well, so I thought it's not really going to hurt. Okay, so the first long sleeve I picked up was this one here. So this one is just red and then has the little peplum, pe peplum, however you want to say it, design on the bottom. Again, this is quite tight sitting. Okay, so the next one I picked up was this one here. So this one is just plain black and then the sleeves are like quite broad and gathered. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. And it's really, really warm. It's merino wool. As well. The next long sleeve is this one here. So this one is just a plain white with navy blue sleeves. And it's also like quite long and baggy. Okay, the next long sleeve is this one here. It has a collar at the top, buttons down the side. It has like a couple of lacy pocket things. And then the sleeves are like quite big and then they come in really, really tight with a couple of buttons on this side. And the material is very, very sheer. And the last long sleeve that I picked up was actually one that I picked up to throw over stuff. And that is this flanneled shirt here, it has a collar, has buttons down the front, has little pockets, yeah long sleeves that come into like a little tie skinny thing at the end. So it's just like your classic tartan print really and then in the inside it's just like a red and white checkered. Okay now we're going to move on to t-shirts. First t-shirt I picked up was this one here. So this is just like a grey and white stony type print, has a little pocket on the chest, it's like very distressed around the neckline on the sleeves and like at the end as well. It's like a really really slouchy t-shirt. Next t-shirt I picked up was this one here. So this is just like a baby pink and yeah I just love this print that it has on it so it's got like a little girl holding the balloons and I just think it's so cute. The print is like, it's kind of like this material, if you, I don't know the correct name for that. Okay, the next t-shirt I picked up was this one here. So again, this one is just like a white t-shirt and then it just has all this like silver detailing um, around like the neck line and the chest area. Slightly longer at the back than it is at the front, I really like baggy sleeves. Okay, the next t-shirt is this one here. So this is just like a like a pink and a cream mixed together, it's kind of like that colour. Zip down the back and then the side has this like little slit. It's not like tight fitting but it's not exactly loose either. So it's kind of just like a nice fit. Okay and the last couple of t-shirts are striped. The striped one is this one here. So this is just like a orange and a paley orange type quite a baggy floaty shirt and the material looks really sheer when you look at it like this but once you put it on it's actually not which I feel like maybe the dark stripes have something to do with that but the last t-shirt that I picked up and the last one with stripes is this one here. This one is just a red and white striped and the red stripes are thinner than the white ones and again it has a similar like shoulder detailing to that other black shirt that I showed you and that the shoulders like are kind of gathered and they look broader on you um, and again it's like low cut but it's not like too low cut that it's revealing and yeah it's just like a nice fitting top okay moving on to singlets so the first singlet that I picked up was this one here so this one just has like thicker straps and then just has this like rose gold copper detailing around the chest area really really baggy and floaty and the back is slightly longer than the front okay so the next singlet I picked up was this one here so this just has a collar with like these little domes um, going all the way down and then the bottom is just really really distressed and then has a little pocket on the chest there and it's like an acid wash denim Okay, the next singlet I picked up was this one here. So again, just quite like thick straps, just a black and white print with the black straps being smaller than the white one. And yeah, it's just quite a long flowy singlet pretty much. Okay, the next singlet I picked up was this one here. So again, quite thick straps, pocket on the chest 
and again it's quite baggy and flowy and then the back is just longer than the front and yeah I have this in white okay and the last singlet and probably my most favorite singlet that I picked up and probably one of my favorites that I will own is this one here so this one just is like a sort of like a pale green maybe just slightly like ending turquoise green and just really really thin straps really really floaty okay now we're going to move on to crop tops okay so the first crop top that I picked up was this one here it's just like a light black and white tribal print the back just has the same tribal print the next crop top I picked up was this one here it has thinner straps but they're not as thin as that singlet that I showed you before so yeah and then it just has a cross that is like slightly leaning on the front and then yeah it just has really like baggy sleeves the next crop top that I picked up was this one here so this is just like a corally pink with white polka dots and yeah again quite like thick straps and then it just has these like little claspy thingies I don't know what you call them this one is quite tight as well okay so the next crop top that I got was this one here so this is just like a black and grey striped crop top with buttons down the front and then just like a little pocket on this side right here and yeah the back just is quite plain as well so yeah I really really like this sticking with the striped theme I have this one here which is just like a navy and white striped top the navy ones are slightly smaller than the white ones but not by much and then the sleeves are quite like tight fitting and then I just realised it has little shoulder pad thingies in there so that your shoulders don't get sore. So, real cute. The last crop top that I picked up was this one here. So again, quite thick straps. Again, really low cut on the sides. And then it just has like this circle with a triangle print. Not exactly sure what it means, but I just liked the crop top because it was a grey crop top. Alright, so now that bag one is done, on to bag two. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I picked up was a couple of jumpers, and both of these are knit jumpers, and again, picking up knit jumpers, we're going into summer, kind of makes no sense. Okay, so the first jumper that I picked up was this one here, so this one is just like a red woolen one, it goes really really thin on the ends, and then on the end it just has like a similar detailing. The last jumper that I picked up was this one here. So this one is just like a navy blue grey jumper with like a black bow just on the front. The sleeves just come in like thin on the ends and then like they have this same detailing on the bottom as they do on the sleeves. This one is like a fitted. So next I'm going to move on to jeans. So I just picked up one pair and they were these black jeans here. So just two pockets there two pockets there and these ones are straight jeans and then I just have two pairs of pants so the first pair of pants that I picked up was these ones here so these are just plain black pants located at the waist and then they just come down skinny at the end and I have been wanting a pair of plain black leggings for so long so chuffed and the last pair of pants that I got with these leather leggings. Now as you guys already know, I share a pair of leather leggings with my sister, but they are slightly too big for me. Like it's not too big that I can't wear them. So yeah, my mum found these and just gave these to me. So now I officially own these and Shelby officially owns the other pair. So yeah, just elasticated, fake leather, it's obviously not real, um, and then just skinny at the end. Now moving on to shorts, I got one pair. So the pair of shorts that I picked up were these ones here. So these ones just have like elastic at the top. They're like navy blue with like these white little arrows, a drawstring, and then it just has like these little blue pom-pommy things. And again, like a little split side. And then like it sort of layers over here. Yeah, just some really, really floaty shorts. And I've been wanting some really, really floaty shorts for a while now. So now moving on to skirts. So the first skirt that I picked up was this black skater skirt here. So it's just so really, really flowy and then like an elastic um, around the waist. 
And the next black skirt that I picked up was this one here. This one is just like gathered down the bottom and then elastic around the waist. And this one is bodycon. And the last skirt that I picked up was this one here. So this is just a purple skirt with some daisies. And the daisies are of various sizes. So from big ones to medium ones to small ones. And again just really floaty. And then it has buttons down. Um, the front which go all the way down okay and last but not least moving on to dresses okay so the first dress that I picked up was this one here so quite thick straps it just comes in at the waist and then the skirt isn't too flowy but it's also not bodycon and then it's just like this pastel green turquoise white and purple print these dresses are like above the knee as well the next dress that I picked up was this one here. So this one is just a maroon. Uh, the shoulder has a bit more going on than it would be if it was sleeveless. Just has a zip going down the back and then the front is like this sort of gathered um, print. This dress is a bodycon dress. So the next dress I picked up was this one here. So again quite thick straps and it has a zip going all the way down, it's gathered in, has two pockets which is always really really handy and then it's just like a black dress with like all these floral flowers. The next dress I picked up was this one here, so this is just like a plain black and it's a bodycon. The next dress I picked up was this one here, so this one just has really really thin straps and then like it's really weird on the sides because you sort of just hook your arm through it and it sort of just sits like there. And then the back is quite cool because it just has like this massive gap. And then the last dress and the last thing that I picked up in this entire haul and probably my most favourite thing that I picked up was this dress here. So this one is just like a salmony pink and it's like mesh at the top. And it's mesh at the back as well and has a zip going down. It has like a little gap between like where your boobs would sit with mesh. Like this bit sits all nice and this bit is like more flowy as well. And there we go guys. That is finally the end of this market haul. I know that this has probably been such a long haul. So if you are still with me, congratulations. I hope you did enjoy this haul. Hall. So yeah, make sure that you guys check out any markets that are coming up in your area. Don't be afraid to buy secondhand clothes and just wash them. I wouldn't have been able to get all of these clothes for the price that I got them if I was going to go like in town. So yeah, if you guys liked this video and you would like to see more videos from me, then please give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you are new, then I just want to say hey and welcome to my channel. And I hope you decide to stick around and join our family here on this channel. Please check out some of my social media links that I have listed in the description box below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! This is going to be one long ass haul. Okay. <coughs> What's his name? Colin. I thought it was Nathan for some weird reason. Is that the author? I hope it is. Yeah. Yeah, so it's got like a... Except and then I need a drink before we get the next one because this next one is going to be massive. What was that? I can't even remember what I was saying. Epilum, uh, that's the same word. Reno will. Will? It, oh crap, it's not done up. Uh, <laughs> need to be worn with like doors opening clothing. Again, oh, again, there's a hair in my face. My throat's getting sore. And I'm only through the first bag. How am I only through the first bag? Oh, oh, I only got one white singlet. I thought I got way more. That's good. Can that fly not? I'm just going to close my window so that we don't get any more fly interruptions. Okay, and then now, now, oh look, something else that's not done up. Size, size. The next dress I picked up can't even speak I've been talking about clothes for so long this skirt is a the skirt this is not a skirt yeah, oh that's the back let's grab John Green oh my gosh my hand is failing oh gosh ow oh
Oh, my legs are so sore.